Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, learn and also interact. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we inform the work and the topic is farm structure and the subtopic is pottery houses. And on to the lesson objective, uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, you are supposed to state the various uh, types of pottery houses and the second objective, you are supposed to explain how pottery houses should be maintained. Uh, there are various types of pottery houses. The first one is a fold uh, or arc. Another name of this uh, type is an arc or a fold. Uh, as far as this uh, house is concerned, you can see uh, three quarter of its part of its uh, uh, part is wire meshed. Uh, the wire mesh allow the light to get into the house so that they ca it can help the, 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 the birds which are there inside from uh, basking or sunning. Then the second uh, point you are supposed to note that uh, a third of the house is, uh, is roofed. Uh, you can see it is roofed here and this is the part w uh, which provide uh, them with shelter during the night. Uh, it shelters the bird during the night. The, the second type of the house is night sh uh, shelter and run. You can see that there is an image here of various birds and, and there is uh, birds which are brooding here. You can see uh, birds brooding here uh, with the, uh, the, the, they are taking care of their young ones and also we have the rest of the birds and therefore during the day they normally uh, eat in the compound and during the night they go back to their houses and the compound is what we refer to as the runs. The third type of the house is the deep reader system. And in the deep reader system, uh, the birds are confined in a structure for 24-7, meaning that they are not supposed to get out of that structure. And therefore, they are supposed to be provided with the feeders and the feed and also the water and also water should be put in the water. Then uh, the fourth type is the battery cage system. And in the battery cage system, uh, we have uh, uh, this, this system here, which is well uh, displayed for you. And this system, each bird, uh, two to three birds, it can be two, it can be one, or it can be three birds uh, are supposed to be put in a cage. Uh, then uh, the, 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 the system is mechanized whereby the eggs, once laid, they are, uh, there is a system of levers to, get, uh, to remove the eggs from the, uh, from the cage. And therefore, it will uh, control vices such as uh, can, uh, egg eating, I mean. Then the fifth one is the coops. Uh, the coops are the structures, the houses, uh, structures which are supposed to rear the brooding hens, uh, the ones which are taking care of the young ones. Especially, you can see that there is a hen here and also we have chick here. And therefore, uh, the structures which are used for rearing uh, this type of uh, birds, uh, especially the brooding uh, birds, uh, is what we refer to as a coop. Uh, then uh, we have come to the, uh, we, will, uh, we will go to the maintenance, uh, the maintenance, uh, the maintenance, the first maintenance is regular cleaning and the second one is repairing of the leaking uh, roof, any part of the roof which might be leaking should be uh, repaired. And the activity of today, as we have come to the end of today's lesson, uh, you are supposed to, number one, identify the type of pottery house uh, drawn below and state the materials used to construct the part uh, one, two, four. Meaning that you're supposed to identify the part uh, for this a region and then part uh, the other region here the material which has been used and the third and the fourth and the uh, the second question you're supposed to mention any other three types of pottery houses other than the one in the question number one uh, for reference you can refer from uh, the KLB Secondary Agriculture Student Book 3 and the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, you can reach us at Erim TV using the following addresses. SMS using that number. You can use YouTube at Erim TV, uh, Facebook at Erim TV and Twitter at Erim TV underscore KE. Thank you for tuning to this lesson. Till next lesson, bye bye.